this happens if you don't use the rotring isograph for a long time. It seems that it dried up. I need to clean up uh, the nib and uh, to reactivate it. Inside the pen uh, there is a ball that uh, make the flow of ink easier but I can't hear it so it seems it clogged. I'll try to wash it with a bit of water. So I'm uh, putting this in water. Hopefully the ink will uh, activate. Now you can hear uh, the ball inside of uh, the pen. So it starts little by little to release the ink. Another try in water. So this uh, procedure of activating uh, this kind of pen uh, kind of uh, bother me because uh, I cannot use it uh, instantly. If I don't use uh, them for a couple of days, they dry up. So I need to activate them and to do this before they can be used. Finally, after a few minutes, I managed to make this flow. On this paper, which is a little bit rough, uh, the line is not uh, very consistent. It skips uh, some uh, gaps. Let's try on smoother paper. It's a bit better. This is uh, number 0 0.70. It's a quite thick line. So even on this uh, smooth paper it skips some uh, gaps. Now in this direction it doesn't work. So it has uh, some kind of uh, personality. It not, it's not very responsive and uh, it happens quite often, even uh, if it's activated. When I bought uh, these two uh, rotring isograph, uh, 0.35 and 0.7, I uh, thought I'll make some uh, economy replacing uh, this uh, rotring Tiki graphic that uh, I used to use. Uh, this one is uh, 2 euros and this one is 20 euros and uh, the rotring uh, isograph have this uh, uh, refillable uh, cartridge. You can uh, refill it with this uh, drawing ink. It's uh, waterproof and uh, water um, resistant. So. Uh, I thought uh, this uh, would be a more um, economical and uh, ecological uh, solution instead of this. But uh, when you use Rotring uh, Tiki Graphic, it's ready to use. You don't need to activate. This one I haven't used for months and uh, it's perfectly working. The line is um, consistent and uh, you know what to expect from this one. After using uh, these two kind of pens for more than uh, two years, I uh, ended up using uh, these uh, disposable pens more than this one. And uh, why? Because uh, I'm using uh, this kind of pens on uh, location when uh, urban sketching and I need uh, very uh, 
fast use of them. Uh, I need them to be ready to use instantly because I don't have uh, much time uh, on location. Usually it's uh, no more than uh, half an hour, so I need to use them quickly. I don't have uh, uh, sometimes water to activate them and to shake them. And, uh, I think um, it's a waste of time when uh, you have um, a limited uh, amount of time uh, when sketching uh, on location. So uh, my choice is uh, with this uh, disposable uh, uh, pens. Uh, I think these are good because they are uh, rotring isograph, uh, because they are economical and uh, you can uh, refill them, but uh, you need to use them uh, daily so they don't uh, dry up and uh, I think they are more suitable uh, in a studio uh, in more uh, controlled uh, environment. So I think uh, these ones I'll use um, less than uh, this one also in the future. I think uh, ease of use uh, of uh, any tool if you try to keep a daily practice is very important. So. Uh, uh, the simpler is uh, a tool, the more you'll uh, use it. So um, a tool doesn't need to be an obstacle uh, uh, in the way of your uh, development or uh, your um, practice. Uh, I think uh, it uh, needs to simplify uh, your process. Uh, instead of a fiddler uh, tool, I choose uh, one that is um, simple and can be ready to use at uh, any time. But uh, it depends um, what uh, you intend to use uh, these pens. Thank you for watching. Bye.